Hello guys, my name is Luca from Audio Trade YouTube channel and in this video we will try to upgrade the JBL Bar 2.1. The JBL Bar 2.1 has 300 watts, 100 from the menu of the soundbar and 200 from the 6.5 woofer. So we will try to upgrade with these three woofers. First we will try with the Logitech Z5500 that is a an amazing speaker then we will gonna connect the uh, $15 China subwoofer and at the end of this video we will try to connect the 15 inch woofer we will start by playing a song uh, the same song on each of the tests uh, to see how it sounds first with the original speaker and after that uh, we will also measure the power of the speaker to see if the amplifier uh, deliver what the manufacturer said. The JBL Bar 2.1 has only a 6.5 inch woofer and 300 watts combined power throughout the, the both speakers. For this small size, the... And also we have some tissues inside from the from, other test. From the other test, yeah. The, the subwoofer is very small, but compared to its size, the bass is very powerful well <laughs> it is quite small we see that From it... what do i see you have here four ohms with 100 watts so i don't know where did they get the 200 watts and from what do i measure it's 4.5 ohms okay and the logitech this is 8.0 so if the resistance is bigger it is safe to connect it to this uh, amplifier uh, but of course the power that they will get it will be smaller you can take it to the maximum level the base is on high So the amplifier deliver like 72 watts. Okay, so um, the amplifier 72 watts and this, this is, is a 100 watts speaker. Let's try with the Logitech speaker to see what's the difference. This is a 10 inch woofer that was on the, J on the Logitech Z5500. Let's give it a test with the Logitech speaker to see how it sounds.
small enclosure because it's very big comparing to the original speaker uh, of course it sounds nice in free air but with the enclosure it will sound more, much more better it is an upgrade but because the enclosure is too small the air that is released from the this uh, Logitech subwoofer doesn't go in the enclosure and doesn't produce that much bass but it is an upgrade but because the resistor is bigger on this one we can use only 400 watts 400 watts? Uh, for 40 watts excuse me 40, 40 watts of power compared to the original 70 one. watts from the original one of course so it's better to use the same impedance of the speaker if you use lower you will break the amplifier if you use bigger of course you won't have the same power on the speaker but here we have the cheap speaker with the same impedance and of course it says that we have 400 watts at 4 ohms so 4 ohms here 4 ohms on the original subwoofer here we will get a better power so 12 inch and 6.5 inch this is twice w. as big as the original JBL subwoofer let's play the sound and remember you can you can get out all the electronics from this uh, enclosure and put it in another big box So the original one, the 6.5 produces uh, 70 watts of power. It sounds much better on this cheaper one than this one. I don't know how much does it cost. With this 4 ohms 12 inch, it is an upgrade. But remember, you need to upgrade in even the enclosure. And now let's try with this. If you use a, a small resistor than the original, uh, it's better to start with low volume so this is the inside of the JBL bar 2.1 that was released in 2023 so this is the 2.1 new model so how many ohms does the 15 inch 7.5 so we have the speaker connected it's not a big difference only the magnet <laughs> it's, the, it's, it's even bigger than the original one So it's clear that it is way bigger. So the con my conclusion is this. You can easily upgrade the JBL bar subwoofer with a big subwoofer, uh, but you need uh, a new enclosure. You can uh, take out the electronics and put it in another, in, in a, a big enclosure, no? Yes, and remember to respect the impedance of the speaker. You must use the same 4 ohms or 
bigger but you will get uh, less power let's hit the music <laughs> With this 15 inch we get how many watts of course the 40 watts same as logitech because they have the same impedance with the bigger of the subwoofer the bigger the vibrations but if you want to to have bigger watts you need if you want to use all the power that can be delivered from this amplifier you must use the 4 ohms uh, woofer so bigger speaker that means bigger enclosure so what do you think about this test feel free to subscribe audio tribe youtube channel and please hit the like button cheers